Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for this video, I want to just talk about um, signs of chosen ones and what makes us chosen. So let's get started. So each and every single chosen one, we're all uniquely beautiful and different in our own unique way. So we all have our own beautiful light and we all have this creative, different way of thinking that we bring into this new world that we're going to change the world with the way that we help and we share our wisdom around so this is only um a sign that you're a chosen one because of your your soul that, that beautiful bright soul of yours that you have that beautiful healing and bright aura around you and um this is what it's all about it's all about the energy that you have that positive that very strong presence of yours and um the holy spirit within you that anointing that god has blessed you with so ever since birth you've always had an anointing over your life and so this has always made life very difficult for you because you're set apart from the rest of the rest of the world and you have something different to offer this world and you bring on this new world because you're a leader and so you're going to lead people towards the light towards god towards salvation and help them heal and help them um change for the better bring healing onto this earth and uplift the energy around you whenever you keep that bright positive energy you don't know you protect your energy because you have a lot of it. Your energy is so strong and it's just, it's it's too much, it's a lot. So let's go ahead and get started with this video. So the first, the first thing that you already know is that animals, um, cats, dogs, birds, butterflies, squirrels, horses, all different types of animals are very um, attracted to your energy they feel safe, they love your energy, they love being around you, um, they're just very attracted to you, they gravitate towards you, and um, you just have, it's your energy that attracts them, your pure heart uh, is in alignment with their pureness as well, and the same thing with babies and little kids, they're, your pure heart, they automatically just love you, and they smile at you, and just happiness because it's purity right there so with animals like cats and dogs i want to go ahead and share with you guys a couple of stories that i have because i love sharing this i because i love animals i love animals so much ever since i was little i just i i have this immense love for animals and i would even do research i would um try to memorize different breeds and different cat breeds and how to take care of your cat and different ways to, to take care of them. Um, so ever since I was really small, I lived in these um, apartments and there's a bunch of stray cats just around and they would always gravitate towards me. I would feed them, I would take care of them and just pet them and love them. And it's just, they would bring this beautiful healing energy into my life and I would love them and it was just this beautiful connection that I have with animals. And I just remember that I would go to the store and buy a cat food and put food for them and stuff like that. But they would follow me around and um, they just love your energy or they're trying to protect you as well. So animals are even sent to protect you because especially cats, they can, they're very spiritual animals and they can sense negative energy and so they're constantly being sent to you to protect you and to heal you and to love you unconditionally and so I remember I had this little cat named Tigger and um I would even put its little bed I had a little rug and I put it outside and I just it was like my little my little pet and just any other different cats um I just love animals a lot um, there was there was certain neighbors that I had that they had pets and I would always just love to go to their house just to see their little pets like their hamsters I went to this neighbor's house once and she had 
um, a cat that had just barely had babies and there was just a bunch of little kittens and I was just so happy. It's just, oh, it was the best feeling ever. Just going to places where there's animals. I love it. I love it so much. And um, even even with dogs as well, there was one time this stray dog and I, I asked my mom to go buy food for it and I was able to feed that, that dog and I played around with it, I was petting it and we were just hanging out for a little while. And I wanted to take the dog with me to live with me but unfortunately I couldn't because the place I lived, it was no animal policy. So I couldn't but I, as soon as I got in the car and I had to say goodbye to the little puppy, um, the dog started chasing the car, my mom's car. as. As she was driving the dog was just chasing on my mom's car trying to um trying to come back to me and i remember she got on the freeway and the dog just started running stopped running but it's just yeah animals are very attracted to you they love you they follow you around you just um your pure energy your positive energy just makes them feel safe around you and they love being around you um, same thing with babies and, and little little children. They also gravitate towards your energy because little kids are innocent. They're just, they're pure. They have no idea what um, this world really is like. The negativity, the corruption, the um, just evil, wicked, demonic people. They have no idea what it's like. So when they're little, they're innocent. All they know is pure love. All they know is... Um, happiness and living in the moment and so little kids they since you're pure love and you how you also have a pure heart and you have nothing but good intentions little kids feel that about you and so sometimes um when i was little i would just i had my i would just um i love kids and I, they loved me back so it was just yeah, so that's another thing about us chosen ones. We're very good with, we love to take care of um, of innocence. We love to protect innocence as well. And um, that's, that's something. But I remember little kids would just stare at me and smile. And um, they recognize, they recognize your soul. And that's why they're so accepting and open up towards you because little kids are very intuitive as well and they pick up on energy so they pick up on your good energy and they automatically know that you're 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 a good person that you're loving just just like them so there's like this soul connection that animals and little kids and you share that pureness and that light that beautiful light that beautiful positive aura that you have and um, yeah, so so animals are the first sign that you love animals a lot. You love nature. You respect Mother Earth. You respect humanity. You love to um, help people out. It makes it's just a part of you that you're you're not selfish. Instead, you're like very selfless. You love to put take care of others, and you love to um, help people. And protect them as well you're just always fighting for justice you stand for justice another sign is that you never fit in ever since you were little um, there's always something very beautiful unique and different about you that um, people recognized as soon as you were little they already knew that you you just stand out from everyone else and it's just because of that pure, beautiful spirit that God has anointed you with, the calling over your life. So ever since you were little, they recognize that about you. And that's where the targeting begins. Because they're trying to, they're trying very hard to suppress those spiritual gifts of yours. So as a child, I remember I was very creative. I just was very curious about life, curious about the world. I was always seeking a deeper understanding of everything around me. I would ask the teacher, but why, why, does, why do we do this and this and that? And just 
very intuitive emotionally, um, physically, and I was highly sensitive as well. So very sensitive as a child. I would pick up on people's energies. I would sometimes absorb the energy and I would be in a bad mood and I was like, this is not my energy. Um, this is someone else's or they would deplete my energy as well. Um, certain things, people will, people are very jealous of chosen ones because your light shines so bright and you don't even have to do anything. You don't have to um, be attention seeking. Your light just shines and it just causes a lot of people to pay, to, um, to gravitate towards you and pay attention to you but there's a lot there's a lot of envious people jealous people who will try to dim your light they'll um project all their negativity onto you because your light shows their darkness and so instead of them dealing with it and actually taking accountability they're gonna actually believe that the emotions that they feel towards you because you trigger them and you cause them like to feel bad about themselves and feel inferior without you even doing anything, they're going to automatically want to deflect and project their negativity and their um, self-hatred onto you. So chosen ones, we carry the, wor the world on our shoulders because a lot of people tend to throw all their baggage onto us. They tend to just, um, it's like we're their outlet for them to just throw all that emotional dumping baggage onto us. So that's how we have to really protect our energy because our light really um, really attracts a lot of different people. And some people just want our energy vampires. They're takers, they're selfish, entitled, and they're only gonna want you just for your energy and just to take advantage of that soft spot of your heart. So you, don't, you never fit in. You would try to fit in as much as you could. Even in school, you just felt like you didn't belong. Even with your family, um, you'd never fit in with anyone. It's like, it's like you were just born in a, in a world that really, it wasn't for you and it's not meant for you. And um, even if you tried to fit in, even if you would try to, to be, um, try to change yourself and try to fit in, so you so you would wouldn't feel so um, rejected. No matter what, that would actually harm you even more emotionally, and it would take an emotional toll on you because you you weren't meant to fit in no matter what. And so God God intended us to live uh, to be set apart from the rest. And the reason why we didn't fit in is because our spirit is so bright, and most people are f are filled with um, demonic spirits onto them, and so they reject our sp our spirit because. Our spirit is too much for them, and they don't want to deal with their um, their demonic spirits that they that they're dealing with. So they, instead of them looking within themselves, they want to place responsibility onto other people. And um, aside from not fitting in, people didn't want you around them because you automatically took their spotlight. So they would purposely exclude you. Um, make you feel bad about yourself. They wouldn't accept you for who you are because you were automatically the spotlight. And so they would exclude you. They would tell they would make plans in front of you and they would just tell you, "Oh, um we're not going to invite Adriana." So they 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 wouldn't even tell you like, "Oh, we made plans because they want to be the spotlight. They don't want anyone else taking their spotlight." And most of them try to play these ego trips on you because they're operating with their ego. And so they think like, oh, she thinks she's better than me, or oh, she thinks she's all that, or oh, um, she's she's just trying, she's trying too hard, or she's too much, yeah. But in reality, it's the fact that um, they they don't want they don't want to face the fact that that they have a lot of work to do on themselves, that they have a lot of healing to do that they don't want to face reality, that they continue to live in denial and they continue to live in their lies and their delusions that they create for themselves. So that's what that's what demonic um, spirits are. It convinces people that they're better than what they really are. It convinces them that, that they're perfect, that they're flawless, 
that ever, anything that goes wrong in their life, they don't want to take accountability for it. They constantly feel like oh, it's someone else's fault the way that I am, the, the reason why I'm so negative. But the thing about us chosen ones is that we're very intuitive, but we're also able to self-reflect and introspect on our, own, on our very own flaws. And we go from within and we tend to not blame others and intend we want to understand people and we un want to understand ourselves. So when people do something wrong, we try to understand like, well, what caused them to do this? And we try to put everything together to, to actually gain um, a better understanding of our world and around other people as well. So we're not closed minded, we're very open minded. Um, we're not judgmental because we see we see life with a bigger lens. We're more consciousness, consciously aware that of what of our surroundings, consciously aware of people's behaviors, people's energy, the way that they talk about other people. We're constantly aware of um, their insecurities, their negativity, and their um, their facade so we could see people's facade when they pretend to be happy when they pretend to be better than other people we can see right through them and we can see that they're not really being true to who they are they're just pretending to be something that they're not so that's why we don't fit in because people can't stand the fact that you're real and you're not fake like them so they won't accept you unless you also end up being just as fake as they are, but even if you if even if you were tr you were to train change yourself, they still wouldn't accept you because of your spirit. It's so bright and it it threatens them. It really threatens them. It threatens their self esteem. It threatens their um, perception of themselves. And yeah, so they're gonna lie to you. They're gonna try to manipulate you. And they're going to try to make you feel bad for your, about yourself because um, they want to try to play these ego games. They compete with you secretly because they're insecure and they need to prove themselves that they're better than you. So that's another reason why you don't fit in because um, your soul is an old soul. You have a lot of wisdom. You speak truth. You don't speak lies. And most people just speak a bunch of foolishness. So they can't stand you because when you speak... You speak from a place of wisdom and you speak with a lot of energy and these demonic people they just sign they they get quiet when you speak they um they get scared because they know that that you're the truth and you're the light and they're in darkness and so you illuminate that darkness onto them another reason why you're chosen is that your spirit is very bright it's so bright that you don't even have to say a word. You don't have to do anything. You just step into a restaurant, you step into a public place and automatically your energy speaks for itself. It's so strong, it's so powerful. It's um, it's very addictive as well. So whenever you're around, people can feel that energy. They, they can feel how powerful that energy really is. And so they'll get scared of it they are scared of you. They're scared of your energy. They're scared of your light. They're scared of your anointing. And um, they live in fear. They, they're fearful. So so that's the thing about being a chosen one is that your energy really is a threat to a lot of people. And that's where the spiritual attacks come in because they're trying to dim your light. They don't want it to shine so bright because it makes them uncomfortable. It makes them feel... Um, bad about themselves but regardless of how they feel you should not change yourself for anyone you should not um, be less of yourself just because they're not 